when you're only having one hand. Start that over. Creating patterns for your armor is a very important step in creating good, high quality, and accurate sized armor and props. But one problem with that is creating those templates on yourself. If you're trying to template something on your arm, you're really restrained to only having one hand that you can hold something down and trace a pad. It makes it difficult. So today we're going to show you how to make a small part of your body into a duct tape form that you can use to create patterns with. This is a leg. You can use this, I'm sorry, this is the lower part of a leg, and you can use this to create shin armor, and uh, it's 100% accurate to my leg, and it will help you make your patterns and templates much more accurate that will fit you better and have better armor in the end. So let's get started making our leg, whatever it is, duct tape body form. Cue the epic voiceover music. Grabbing our supplies, we have some wrapping tape, which I have here. You can use cellophane uh, or Reynolds wrap. I also have some duct tape, some scissors, and a Sharpie. These are all the things you're going to need to do your leg form, plus a leg. Can't forget the leg. So start out by wrapping your leg in Reynolds wrap or packing tape, whatever you have handy. And if you have a flip-flop on, take it off. I did not do my toes because I don't need that. Follow up by using your duct tape. If you're like me, you can move in super fast motion just like I am and you can get this done in no time. If you're not like me, it'll take you a minute. But go ahead and do a couple layers of thickness with the duct tape going in different directions, covering the heel, the calf, and the top of the foot. And once you have that done, you'll use a Sharpie and a ruler to find the center line. Add some hash marks that you can use to line this back up once you cut it off and then you're ready to go. So now we're going to take some scissors and cut this off. Do not, I repeat, do not use a razor blade. You will cut your leg right off. It just has to be said sometimes that you don't want to use a razor. So dig that scissor in between your flesh and that uh, duct tape and try not to cut yourself. It, it will poke and it will hurt so be careful change directions if you need to to get other angles and once you're done you can pull it right off and you'll have something that looks like this once you have that just all suave like slide back in your flip-flop and move on to the next section so once you're done you'll have your piece looking like this use some duct tape to reattach it to make it a whole solid piece like I did Close off the bottom of the toe and start uh, stuffing it with newspaper or what I use as some old garbage bags. We get these every time we go to the grocery store, we keep them and we put them in a bigger bag and uh, start stack, uh, stuffing that full. I put a little piece of tape over part of it so I can uh, stuff it fuller and then once you're done you seal the entire top off with some duct tape. And once you're done with all that you'll have something that looks like this. And if you want to take it a step further and make it easier to work with, well, first compare it to your leg and say, oh, I'm missing my piggies. And then you can grab yourself an old shoe or something and you can stick this foot down in there. This is one of the reasons we didn't put toes on it. It would make it impossible to really get it in and get it out of the shoe. So put that down in a shoe, tie the laces, and it'll be nice and sturdy for you to use for templates and creating new things for shin armor for your legs. And that's it. Thumbs up. Hey there, you, yeah you, come here. Just come by and see me at cccosplay.com. Hit that subscribe button, that way you'll always have updated information when new videos are released. And uh, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the information is on cccosplay.com. And last but not least, stay crafty my friends.